Hello. I'm here to do my April book haul. And this is actually a compilation of several videos that I recorded that are all the books that I either purchased in April or I had ordered in at the end of March and I didn't get them until April. So here's the video. I'm back with another Book Outlet book haul. Recently, Book Outlet ran a sale for 30% off their Scratch and Dent books. And I know the Scratch and Dent are kind of damaged, but 30% off an already sale price, and the Scratch and Dent are already on sale further than their regular sale prices, so I couldn't help myself. <laughs> and I ended up ordering 25 items and I say items instead of books and you'll see why here in a little bit. This is the box like it can't even fit the whole thing on screen. I'm gonna open it up. Let's see what's inside. I have a five dollar off coupon and my invoice, which is two pages. Well, not all two pages, the last is just that little bit. And the paper. Okay, I only ordered three hardcovers, so there's only three books that I'm really worried about in here. Okay, let's see what we have. First one I see is The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer, and this is the first book in a series. I've heard a lot of people talking about it, and that's why I picked it up. It was only $2.09 on sale. It's not too bad. It's got some damage on the top there. A little bit of wear on the edges, and a little crease on the back here. Other than that, it's really good. Next is A Plague Year by Edward Bloor. Other than some scuffing, you see that it looks foggy. Other than that scuffing, there's nothing wrong with this book. There's a slight tear to the cover there, but if I take this in my work bag to read at work, then that would probably happen anyway, so I'm pretty pretty happy with this one. This was only a dollar and thirty-two cents. Next I have Split by I'm probably gonna butcher this name. Swati Avasti. This one because I read the synopsis on Book Outlet and it looked interesting. It's got a squished corners all squished there. It's got a little bit of wear scuffs, some wear scuffs on the back, but that's it. This was only a dollar and four cents. The next book I find is What Goes Around by Courtney Summers. This is a two book bind up. It has cracked up to be and some girls are. And I'm not seeing anything wrong with this, to be honest. Unless they call that tiny indentation on the bottom there, scratch and dent. I am not seeing anything wrong with this. This was only a dollar and 32 cents with the sale. The next book I'm finding is Love, Water, Memory by Jenny Shortridge. And this is another one that I just read the little blurb on Book Outlet and thought that it sounded interesting. And it's got very slight scuffing on the cover and the back cover I see the back covers a little ripped there you can see the indentation looks like the very bottom of the last couple pages might be slightly ripped a little eighth of an inch rip there and this book was a dollar and 74 cents the next book I have is Crushed by Laura and Tom McNeil. And this is one that keeps popping up. 
I haven't heard anybody talking about it, but it keeps popping up on my Goodreads and it keeps popping up on Book Outlet, so I figured I'd pick it up. This is a different cover than what they had in the picture on Book Outlet. I think I know why this keeps popping up. Tom McNeil wrote Far, Far Away, and I keep seeing stuff about Far, Far Away, so that might be why Crush keeps popping up. But I read the little blurb on Book Outlet, and I thought it sounded interesting. And the only thing that looks wrong with this is the back corner has a little crease across the corner there. That's it. This was also a dollar and four cents. I can see two of the hardcovers and they actually have their dust jackets. Yeah. <laughs> the next book I have is The Face on the Milk Carton by Carolyn B. Cooney. I don't know, I like books about troubled people, I guess. I find it interesting reading into like a troubled psyche, but this one is like they see a picture on a milk carton and it's them. I don't know, I, it reminds me a little bit of Living Dead Girl. And I'm a little sad because this one actually has quite a bit of damage to the front cover there. It's not as bad as it could be. And these three books that they have on the back here, I, I keep looking into getting these. What Janie Found, The Voice on the Radio, Whatever Happened to Janie, which I'm guessing that... I'm guessing this is part of a series, which I... I guess I'll have to look into that to see if this is the first book or not, because if it's not the first book, then I'll have to wait before I can read it. So sad. This was a dollar and thirty-nine cents. Okay, the next book I have, I'm kind of excited about. It's The Divergent Companion by Lois H. Gresh. And it's an unauthorized guide to the series, and I'm in the middle of reading Allegiant. I have less than a hundred pages left to read of it. And I'm hoping to get the book four, maybe for my birthday, I'm hoping, which is coming up in about a week and a half. So after I read everything, I'm going to check this out. And this was, this was also only a dollar and four cents. The next book I have is Ink is Thicker Than Water by Amy Spaulding. And I don't know, it just looked interesting. I've been looking at this one for a little while, and it was only $1.32 with the sale. And I'm actually really glad that I got this, because it looks like the only thing that's wrong with it is the book is, like, scooped up here. And there's some fingerprints along the edges. But if I put this under a really big, heavy book, I think that'll straighten out. So, yay! The next book I have is The Other Normals by Ned Vicini. Vicini? Reminds me of the Princess Bride. <laughs> That's the guy that I can't stand. Oh my goodness. Well, I know it's not this guy, but the guy in the Princess Bride whose name it reminds me of. I can't stand him. He's so annoying. It's just the actor's voice. I've been seeing this on booktubes. I've heard a pe couple of people talking about it. And I saw this in the Scratch and Knit sale. There was only one copy, so I didn't think that I would actually get it. Because a few of the books that I wanted to get, people scooped them up before I hit buy. So I actually didn't think that I was going to get all of these books because I thought that people would probably scoop them up because half of them only had one on hand. This just has a little crease on the corner there, and that is literally the only thing wrong with this. This was also a dollar and thirty-two cents. Okay, the next book that I see is Bigger Than a Bread Box by Laurel Snyder, and this sounded really cool. A magic bread box that whatever you wish, as long as it'll fit in the bread box, you can get it. Just got that little bit along the front corner, and just a slight scuffing on the front and back, and that's it. I've been looking at this one for a while too. This was also $1.32. The next book I have is Inside Out and Back Again 
I Thanha Lai, I'm guessing. Could totally be butchering that. This is another one that I've been looking at getting for a long time. It keeps popping up everywhere. And I'm not really seeing anything. And there's a couple. This top corner has a little bit of a smush, as well as the bottom of the spine has a little bit of a smush. And the bottom edge of the front cover isn't entirely smooth. But other than that, it's looking really good. And it says there's extras inside. And this was only a dollar and 74 cents. And don't laugh at me on this next one, it's actually a gift. Up close, rock legend Elvis Presley says a 20th century life by Wilborn Hampton. Both my sister and somebody that I work with love Elvis. Actually, the guy that I work with, we call him Elvis because he wears the that time period of clothing. He actually goes out to thrift stores to buy the clothing to make sure that it's actually from that time period. It's pretty interesting. So I kind of bought this for him and it just has that little ding a little ding on the edge of the cover there and a little bit of wear on it like just kind of scuffing and the reason why I bought this is because it was only a dollar and 32 cents so dollar and 32 cents for present I mean I couldn't pass up getting that the next book I have is the first hardcover that I found when the sea is rising red by Kat Hellison it's got a tear on the cover there which I think if I put some tape on the inside of the cover, you won't be able to see that. But yeah, that's the only problem is it's just got that little, little bitty tear on the cover. And this book was $2.44. This was one of the most expensive ones that I got. The next book I have is a lot thinner than I thought it would be. It's The Green Book by Jill Patton Walsh. It looks like it's not straight there. And that's it. There's a little bit of creasing to the edge of the spine, but I think if I put it between some heavy books that it'll straighten it out, and that crease won't go away, but it'll straighten it out. This was a dollar and 32 cents. It's only 69 pages. I think I should have looked at this one better before I bought it, but it looked interesting. The next book I have, why does my phone keep going off? The next book I have is prized by, I'm gonna try this name again, Karag M. O'Brien, I'm guessing. This is the second book in the Birthmarked series or trilogy. I know there's at least three books. I just got bookmarked in one of my previous hauls, so I figured I'd pick this one up. It seriously looks like the only damage is these pages. These pages are bent, and that's it. There's no outer damage to it. There's no damage to the covers at all. It just has bit pages and it's scratching it. You see that? I just unbent them. And if I put this between some books, it'll probably fix that. I was scratching it. This was on sale for a dollar and 39 cents. Next book I have, Bad Hair Dye. Mm, bad Hair Dye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bad Hair Day by Carrie Harris and I found out after I ordered this that it's not the first book in the series so I'm gonna have to buy another book before I can read this one. This one's another one that actually has quite a bit of damage to it. It has creasing across here and on the corner, let's see if I can get that glare on it, yeah, on the corner there. It's got scuffing all across the front of the book and quite a bit on the back of the book. And it has a picture of the first book, Bad Taste in Boys, that's the one that I need to get. Uh, it's got a bit of a creasing up on the top here as well and a tiny tear on the corner. But it's scratch and dent. What do you expect? This one was also a dollar and thirty-two cents. These are actually going a lot better than I expected. 
The next book is another one of the hardcovers, and it is Infamous by Lauren Conrad. And this is another one that is not the first book in the series. And again, it has a torn cover, but at least it has the dust jacket. It's kind of got scuffing all over the cover. I don't know. You probably can't see that. It's pretty underneath. I'm just going to have to try to tape that up on the inside or something. This one was $2.44. The next book I have is The Last of the Hardcovers, and it's Gil Marsh by, is it Ace Bauer or just A-C-E Bauer? I'm trying to find the damage. It looks like it just has scuffs on the back cover. Can you see it? That kind of fogginess and the light's not quite hitting it. That's literally it. Oh wait, I found the damage. These pages are kind of squished and torn a little bit. I don't know if you can even see that. Oh, uh, they're, they're torn a little bit. Corners are squished. There's only three pages right in the middle of the book. Three pages had squished corners and were torn a little bit. This one was $1.74. And the damage it on the box. Okay, the next one is Paper Covers Rock by Jenny Hubbard. The front just has a little ding on it, but the back has this huge crease that goes from here all the way down. Like, yeah, there you can see it. Oh yeah. Can really see it on the inside. But this one looked really cool. It kind of had a little bit of a feel like the Dead Poet Society to me. It was only a dollar and four cents. The next book I have, Wherever You Go by Heather Davis. And it looks like this one is another one that just has bent pages. Like, see those pages? That and the corners, outer corners on the back cover are just slightly squished. Not even enough to bother with. That's another very well unexpected book. Much better than expected. And this was two dollars and nine cents. Now this is really messing with my white balance. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, having too much fun with the camera. <laughs> this next one is another one that I didn't realize was not the first in a series. And it is Something Deadly This Way Comes by Kim Harrison. And it also has extras inside. And it just has a little crease on the corner there. And some kind of slight overall scuffing, like you can't even really see it very much. And it has a spot where a sticker used to be. That's it. This was a dollar and seventy-four cents. The next book I have, please ignore Veradites, Veradites, however you say that, by A.S. King. And this looks like another one. Can you see where the light is shining really weird there? It's not a crease, it's a bend. Like, it, it's not creased, it's a, it's a bend in the book. And you can see like another one in through here too, as I'm moving it. Like, they're, they're not creases, they're just bends. And that's the only thing that's wrong with this. Other than whenever they did the remainder mark, it marked on the back cover. Which, that's a little annoying, but this is in a lot better condition than I thought it would be. And I got this one because I've heard a lot of people talking about it. This was another one that there was only one of, and I expected somebody to buy it out from under me. This was only a dollar and thirty-nine cents. The next book I have is The Farm by Emily McKay. And it looks like, oh, I see it. The top corner there 
is like all squished and the bottom corner here has a crease. It's going to say I thought that the only damage was the wear on the spine. Like there's a little bit of wear on the spine. But yeah, I can see that. This one was a dollar and 74 cents. A lot bigger than I expected. And the last item that I got is the reason why I said items instead of books. The Ender's Game box set by Orson Scott Card. Seriously? You see that? Is that seriously it? Is that seriously all that's wrong with this? Oh, there's a little bit up there. Is that all that's wrong with this? Ender's Game, Ender's Shadow, and Ender in Exile. And there is nothing wrong with these books. At all. All the damage is on the box that they came in. Which I don't need. These were $7.69. Empty box. So my total for this order was just under $60. It was $59.83, that's with shipping and everything. I got 25 items, but if you're counting the individual books in the box set and the book that was a bind up of two books, I actually got 28 books. That's crazy. So let's see if I can lift these. I have them in two stacks. Okay. Lifting books while you're sitting on the floor is hard. You can't even see all of them. These are all my books. Okay, well that's not fair. This is like the one stack of books that I didn't drop and they are the scratch and dent books. <laughs> oh, how ironic is that? <laughs> now the next books are some books that I ordered on Amazon and one of them still hasn't come yet so I might end up adding to this later if it comes in April because it's not quite the end of April yet. But I have Letting Anna Go by Anonymous, The Duff or Designated Ugly Fat Friend by Cody Keplinger. And I got this because for one, I've been hearing a lot of good things about it on booktube and my mom wanted to go see the movie. So over my birthday, we were going to go try to watch the movie, but it was out of theaters in my town by then. So I didn't get to watch it. Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. Early to Death, Early to Rise by Kim Harrison. The Scorch Trials by James Dashner. And this is book two. Book two in the Maze Runner series trilogy. There's four books. And I picked up Divergent by Veronica Roth in hardcover so it matches the rest of my series. And other than the one book that is still on its way because it wasn't available through Amazon. I mean it was on Amazon but it wasn't through Amazon. So other than that this is what I got from Amazon. I can't even tell you how many books that I have because on my birthday I went to Terre Haute with my boyfriend and we went to the little used bookstore that I mentioned before and they gave me a huge deal on paranormal romance books and I ended up getting like over 80 books just at that one store which is kind of freaky and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of them but I'll mention that whenever I get to that. Let's get started because we have a lot to get through. Now first are three books that I actually ordered in March from Thrift Books. This was my first time ever going to the website and I just ordered three books. I got A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Hate List by Jennifer Brown, and Delirium by Lauren Oliver. And for some reason I thought I was ordering a paperback, but it was a hardcover. That's what under the cover looks like. 
I actually like that better than the dust jacket. Like, the dust jacket's all shiny and all. But I think I like just the face better. Anyway, if I end up liking the series, I'll probably end up repurchasing this in paperback because the rest of the series that I have is paperback. So those are the three books that I got from Thrift Books. They came in April, but I ordered them in March. Okay, so I almost forgot about these books. Um. Um. <laughs> Okay, so I almost forgot about these books. On the 11th of April, I went to my aunt's house for a cookout, and at the town that she was in, their local library was having a book sale. So we went over and checked it out, and I got four books and six audiobooks. And almost all of them are actually books that I already own. So I don't have very many new books in this one. The first book I have is a huge paperback, and it is Don Quixote by Cervantes. And I watched the movie in my Spanish class, and I've never read the book. But it's huge. Look at that. Huge. And it's got teeny tiny print too, so that's going to take a while to read. This is one that I didn't already own. It's one of the few that I didn't already own. The next books I have are all by Stephanie Meyer, and they're from the Twilight series. New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. I already own these in the mass market paperback movie tie-in editions. That's a mouthful. But I have The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, and it's only available in hardcover. And so I wanted to get the hardcovers so they all matched up, because right now I have the short second life of Brie Tanner like this, and then my paperbacks on top of it, and it doesn't look very good, and it doesn't stack very well. And they didn't have Twilight, so I still need to get that in hardcover, but they had these three, so I went ahead and picked these up. Now on to the audiobooks. The first one is All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Zevin. This is the first book in the Birthright? I don't know, it doesn't say on here. I think it's the first book in the Birthright trilogy, but I already own the book and I have the audiobook so I can listen to it if I want. The next book I have is Linger by Maggie Stiefvater. It is the second book in the Wolves of Mercy Falls series, and I already have this in an actual book. And I almost didn't get this because it's not the first book, but it says it includes music by the author. So after I saw that, I kind of had to get it, and now I can listen to it if I want. The next book I have is Speak by Laurie Halse Anderson, and this is another book that I already own a physical copy of. The next book is Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen, and this is also another book that I own the physical copy of. Now to the two that I do not currently own a physical copy of. Before I Die by Jenny Downham, or I guess it's Downham, kind of like Jeff Dunham, the H is silent, maybe, or is it Downham? I don't have the book, and I've been wanting to read this. I saw it on the book outlet a while back, and I thought it looked interesting, but I've been trying not to order as many books. And it was on audiobook, and these were only like a dollar, so I figured I'd pick it up. And the last one that I have is Numbers by Rachel Ward, and it just sounded really interesting, and I figure if I like it, then I'll pick up the actual book. That's all the audiobooks that I picked up at the library sale. Next are books that I got for trade-ins at a local used bookstore. I didn't even use all of my trade-in points for the books that I had traded in, but these are what I got. And I ended up getting my mom a couple of books with my credits also. I don't have those here, and they're her books, so I'm not gonna mention what they were. I got Gathering Blue by Lois Lowry, The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray, The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, Sibold, The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly, 
and Sent to Her Isle by Piers Anthony. This is a book that I already own, but I own it in the mass market paperback, and like I said, I was going to try to get them in the hardcover edition, and as you can tell, this is really old, like, a long since quit making these, so these are going to be really hard to find. And these are the books that I got at a used bookstore with credits that I had from trade-ins. The next books I have are ones that my mom picked up for me while we were hanging out the day before my birthday. I spent the day of my birthday with my boyfriend, but the day before was just me and my mom. And we went to all kinds of places and she got me some books while we were out. First I have Edge of the Moon by Rebecca York and this is part of a paranormal romance series that I have a few books from already. And I have Dragonlance book, Flight of the Fallen, Lynchia Trilogy, Volume 2 by Mary H. Herbert. Another Dragonlance, Crossroads, The Thieves Guild by Jeff Crook, and A Hero's Justice, the Ergoth Trilogy, Volume 3 by Paul B. Thompson and Tanya C. Cook, also a Dragonlance book. Then I got Legends, and this is a collection of it says new short novels, which short novels I guess are novellas now, but it's a collection of new short novels. I already have Legends 2 and Legends 3, and this is the first time that I ever saw the first Legends, and so my mom picked it up for me. And then we went to a little church thrift store that I neither of us have ever been to before, and I got flipped by Wendelin von Drainen? I'm not sure, but I've already started reading this. It's pretty good so far. And a curious incident of The Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Hayden. And these are the books my mom picked up for me for my birthday. The next books I have are from a book outlet order. It's only five books. Of Colonna's Call by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, and this is a novella from the House of Night series. The next books I have are The Fame Game and Starstruck from the Fame Game series or trilogy by Lauren Conrad. I have Infamous, and I needed these to be able to start the series, and so I went ahead and picked them up. The next book I have is Bad Tasting Boys by Carrie Harris. And this is the book that I needed to be able to start reading Bad Hair Day that I had picked up before. And the next book is a book, kind of a repurchase because I already have a version of this, but I thought this one was a lot cuter. And it is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. But it has a manga theme to the illustrations in it. And that's what I got in my book outlet order. And now on to the books that I purchased on my birthday. Okay, so whenever I first got to the bookstore, I had found two books and a possible third one that I was interested in purchasing. And I made the mistake of asking the lady where her Nocturne Harlequin romance novels were. And... She said that I could buy as many as I wanted, and if I would buy quite a few of them, that she would give me half price on them. And then, whenever she saw how many of them I picked out, she said, actually, you can get any of the paranormal ram romance books you want, and I'll give you half price on them. And. I took a little bit of an advantage of that. The first the books that I picked up before hearing anything. That's The Immortals by Tracy Hickman, which I love this author, and I had not heard of this book before, so I decided to pick it up. It was only one dollar. So I figured for one dollar, if I didn't care for it, even though I love this author, then I mean it's one dollar, so can't go wrong. And the next book I have is book 14 in the Wheel of Time series. 
and that is A Memory of Light by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. And I know that Robert Jordan passed away in the middle of writing this series, and I guess Brandon Sanderson took over to help finish the series out. And I'm still mis missing books 12 and 13. And both my mom and my sister love this series, and it's one of those that I have to have all of the books before I start reading them, because if it's anything like whenever they were reading them, as soon as I, get, as I get done with one book, I'm going to want to start reading the next one. So, it's book 14, and I'm still missing books 12 and 13. And the book that I was considering purchasing before I heard about the discount is A Paranormal Romance, and it is New Moon by Rebecca York, and this is one of the few that I'm missing from her series. Then, after I heard it, that she was doing half price for the paranormal romance. I purchased. Oh! Knock and books over. Okay, mass market paperbacks are so much harder to hold up than regular books. Oh my goodness, they keep falling over. <laughs> okay. Two tiny stacks are so hard to hold. And these are all of the Dark Hunter novels that I could find. I already have three or four by Sherilyn Kenyon. I already have three or four and I have no idea what order they go in or anything like that which is horrible. But I got Night Play, Is the Night, Night Embrace, Ends of the Night, Will May Cry, Dream Chaser, Warrior, Time Untime, and Silent Night, Unleash the Night, and Dance with the Devil. And now for the Nocturne Romance. I have 71 books. Yikes. But they are my guilty pleasure, so... <sighs> I feel guilty. <laughs> they're, they're my guilty pleasure. I feel guilty for getting so many. <laughs> I'm not going to say the authors' names, because there's so many authors here. But I have The Projector, Night Mischief, Son of the Shadows, Blood Secrets, Savage Redemption, Beauty's Beast, Fallen, Familiar Stranger, Undercover Wolf, The Covert Wolf, Mind Games, Alpha Wolf, Enemy Lover, The Dark Gate, Touch of the Wolf, The Impact, the Highwaymen, Dark Deceiver, From the Dark, Winter Kiss, Poisoned Kisses, The Shifters, The Avenger, Dragon's Lair, Captive of the Beast, Back to Life, Damned, Haunted, Immortal Bride, Rising Darkness, His Forgotten Forever, Blood Sun, Unforgiven, Alaskan Wolf, Kiss Me Deadly, Dream Stalker, Persecuted, Dark Truth, The Slayer, Angel Slayer, The Devil to Pay, This Wicked Magic, Moon Kiss, Vampire Hunter, Sentinels, Jaguar Knight, Rain Tree Inferno, Rain Tree Haunted, Death Calls, Deadly Redemption, The Night Serpent, The Hunted, Wild Hunt, Black Magic Lover, Shifter's Destiny, Rain Tree Sanctuary, Devotion Calls, Fury Calls, Kissed by a Vampire, Claimed by the Demon, Sentinels, Lynx Destiny, Sentinels Wolf Hunt, Dangerous Temptation, Dark Seduction, The Lost Wolf's Destiny, Cry of the Wolf, Sentinels Tiger Bound, Sentinels Kodiak Chained, Unbound, Dark Crusade, The Hellhound King, and Blood Calls. I'm sorry it's so long. I'm actually probably not going to be buying very many books after this, or at least I'm going to try really hard not to because this is a lot of books. And I know that I've purchased a lot of books recently and I haven't read nearly as many books as I've purchased. So I'm going to try really hard not to buy very many books. I'm not going to say that I can't buy any books because that's never going to work. But I'm going to try very hard not to buy as many books, like nearly as many books. And this probably in a month, like five books in a month is probably going to be what I'm going to try to keep it down to. I'm happy I got so many books, but I don't know when I'm going to read all of them, so. 
So the book that I was worried wouldn't get here before the end of April actually did get here. And it is Once Dead Twice Shy by Kim Harrison. And it has extras inside. It has a quiz that has to do with something in the book, which I haven't read much about, so I don't want to spoil myself by reading the quiz. It has a glossary of special terms that are used in the book, and it has a soundtrack, which is really cool. I think this is the first book in a series, I don't know if it's just called the Madison series or what. The main character's name is Madison Avery, and everything that mentions like the other books just talks about Madison's next adventures, so I'm guessing it's the Madison series. I'm not sure. But I am interested in reading these. I guess I should quit saying that I'm interested in reading things because if I bought it, I'm probably interested in reading it, right? Now on the 28th, my boyfriend and I went on a trip and I bought three more books. I actually went to the store specifically looking for this book because I'd seen it the last two times that I'd been there and I was really hoping that it was still there. And it is Dragons of Spring Dawning Part 2 Graphic Novel by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. It's part of Dragonlance. And I have the actual book Dragons of Spring Dawning. And I saw this, and I love this book series from the Dragonland series. I love Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, and I didn't know that they made graphic novels of some of the books that they wrote. One thing is this is part two, and it's the second book in the series, so it's a little confusing. I flipped through it, and they don't have any of the characters' names, and they don't have, like, a little picture guide that says what, like, who's what character. I might have to get the first part and see if it says it in there, or I might have to reread the book and maybe read this along with it. This follows chapters 7 through 12 in the book, supposedly. But I thought that this was really interesting, so I wanted to check it out. The next book I found was Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, and this was the Book Explosion Book of the Month for April, so I'm a little behind on this because I only got it on the 28th, but everything that I heard about it made me really want to get it, and I was really surprised that I found it at this used bookstore. I actually don't like this cover. I was wanting to buy it in hardcover, but the hardcover is, like, a little expensive for not knowing if I'm going to like the book or not. So since I found this on sale at a used bookstore, I went ahead and picked up the paperback. I might end up repurchasing it in hardcover and getting rid of this if I really enjoy it. And the last book I got in April is Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. This is the only book that I didn't have of hers, and I actually found it in the cover that matches the covers that I already have. So I was really excited. It's really it's really hard to find this cover. My All my local stores have the newer cover, and all my books that I have are the original covers. I guess they're the original covers. found it in the cover that matches the covers that I already have, so I get it, even though I know I wasn't really looking for this book, but I got really excited whenever I found it, so I kind of had to get it. And these are the three books that I picked up on my last part of my book haul for the month. Let me know if you prefer having all my book hauls all together, or if you want them separated out into how I have been doing, like where I purchase each book, each set of books as its own little video. And that's all I have for today. I'm sorry I don't have an exact count of how many books are in this book haul. I will try to put that either in the description or in the title of the video. But 
I'll see you next time.